hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make the zara scarf um, i'm going to be using ankara fabric for this diy i'm going to be using a marker in place of marker you can use um, what we call wording a thicker wording but for this diy i'm going to use marker tailor shock i'm going to need some pin scissors my measuring tape and of course my sewing machine the measurement of our fabric the width of our fabric is 25 inches and the length of the fabric is 45 inches for our marker the length of the marker is 18 inches while the width is 3 inches now the reason why the length of the marker is 18 inches is because my head circumference measurement is 22 inches I had to minus 4 inches for my head circumference measurement giving us 18 inches the reason why i minus four inches for my head circumference measurement is because if i use 22 inches at the exact measurement for the marker it will be very difficult for me to tie in knots at the back of my head it will look something like this which will not be nice so it will be difficult for the cap to fit in properly so it's better to leave four inches so the knot can stay somewhere in between the next step is to fold our marker into two to get the midpoint and notch you're going to notch the midpoint on both sides you're going to do the same thing for our fabric you fold it into two fold the fabric into two equal parts and notch the center of our fabric on both sides as well so once you've done that the next step is to place the fabric on the wrong side you take your marker and place it at the midpoint of your fabric let the midpoint align with both the marker and the fabric once you've done that you can leave about half an inch or one inch fold to the other side just like this once you've done that you are going to fold this edge you're going to fold this edge like this this is what it looks like right you're going to fold it like this because you are going to be taking it to your sewing machine to sew a straight line so you are going to fold the edge down to the end i'm just going to take my pin to secure it down so you are folding everything until you get to the edges of both sides so now as you can see i've pinned all the edges down to the extreme end on both sides now when sewing ensure you don't sew the top of the marker sew directly after the marker at the edge of this fabric that you folded you are going to sew directly after the marker and not on top of the marker but before we do that you have to secure the marker together so you are going to come here and sew the edge of this marker where the marker stopped you are going to sew directly after the marker so you stitch it down and stop here stitch it down and stop here after that so you straight stitch all the way round so as you can see i've sewn the edges from the width and the length of the fabric so that the final step is to sew the edges of our scarf we are going to take it to the same machine fold the edges like this all the raw edges you are going to fold them take it to the same machine and sew and we are done guys you can see i've sewn all the rough edges of our scarf and our scarf is ready simple and chic if you want yours longer or wider than this you can add additional inches to yours but i like mine small because i want it to look more like a cap and not really a scarf and we are done so thank you so much guys for watching my video remember to like 
comment share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video